Namaste teachers. In this video, we will learn about how to record an online meeting in Microsoft Teams and how to share that recorded meeting to someone or uploading it on the ERP website. And uh, teachers, I will be also discussing with you about how to share your presentation, images, PDF and videos etc. through screen sharing in Microsoft Teams so that uh, you can avoid sharing your personal information in meeting. So let's get started. So teachers as you already know how to schedule a meeting in Microsoft Teams and how to share their respective uh, invites in the ERP website. So for recording a meeting is very easy. So you have to schedule a meeting first. So just click on this calendar and after that click on the scheduler button. Here type in the title of your meeting. I am typing here demo meeting and after that you have to share it to a channel. Just uh, select that uh, class and uh, that in that class that particular channel. So I'm uh, selecting this recording class and in the recording class I have this recorded meetings channel so I'm selecting that here and after that just change the date and time as per your requirements after doing all the settings just click on this uh, ok button here on the top of the screen and your meeting will be scheduled in the recording recorded meetings channel and if it doesn't show up here just uh, go to the teams and uh, click on that particular channel so I, I have added the meeting in the recording team and in the recorded meetings channel so I'm selecting that and here you can see the I have a scheduled a meeting here in the this recorded meetings so because we are recording our meetings into that particular channel so whenever we start our recording in the online meeting it will automatically stored into that particular channel whom we have selected while scheduling this meeting so start this meeting here click on this demo meeting and uh, and teachers uh, this is very important always set your meeting options because if you haven't set your meeting options in your uh, online classes then uh, you will face certain problems so it is very advisable to set your meeting options first then you start your meetings so I'm skipping here but you have to uh, always set your meeting options so just click on this join button and uh, you will join into your meeting so click on join now so now teachers uh, starting the recording of this meeting is very easy just click on this three dotted button here so after that you can see the this there is a button for start recording so when you click on this uh, start recording button and uh, the recording of this meeting will be start and uh, and uh, you can see recording is about to start and uh, this recording has been started and you can see your recording make sure that everyone knows they are being recorded so this is a privacy issue so and it Students will know that they this session is being recorded. As you can see the time here on the top of the screen. So we are we are recording this session. So after recording your after the completion of your session, just click on this uh, stop recording. Again you have to come here and uh, three dollar button and just click on this stop recording. So it will stop the recording of your this online session. And you can see recording is saved in the chat history. Learn more and uh, you can also see the recording in the chat history or you can also go to that particular channel like i have posted it into the recorded meeting so it will be saved into this uh, channel here and teachers it is saving this uh, recorded meeting into the microsoft stream so for that you have to install this application microsoft stream into your mobile because uh, to share this uh, recorded meetings to see the recorded meetings so you have to install this uh, application that is Microsoft Stream. So you have to download this application as you can see on the screen. And after that, you have to sign in through your school's Microsoft Teams account and uh, you will be able to see all the meetings that you have recorded and all that. And I will be also showing you how to see all the meetings that you have recorded. Once you have downloaded this uh, Microsoft Stream application in your mobile, just open it up and uh, type in your Microsoft Teams ID and password and uh, you will be logged into your this uh, Microsoft Stream account. And uh, here you can see that uh, we have uh, different videos that have been recorded by different teachers on different times. So as you can see, interaction session is for 23 minutes to 32 seconds. So you can know about all the videos just click on this video and uh, you can know further about these videos to see your own content just uh, click on my content and uh, you have three tabs here watch list offline mi videos 
just click on this my videos and uh, you can see all the videos that you have recorded so far or you have just recorded so it will automatically appear here in the microsoft screen so here it is very easy as you can see we have recorded this demo meeting just now for 36 seconds so you can here you can download this uh, video here into your mobile just click on this cloud button here and it will be downloaded into your mobile memory and uh, you can also share this video to someone in the organization like teams or you can also directly upload it to your uh, google drive or your so that is how you can share this uh, recorded meeting to someone else and teachers you can also upload your videos directly here just to click uh, click here upload from gallery and you can also upload this uh, any video from your mobile phone's memory to here in this microsoft screen to share your recorded videos uh, to someone just click on this uh, three dotted button here and uh, click on this uh, share button and uh, teachers you can also edit and delete your recorded videos just click on this two buttons edit and delete and just uh, for teams uh, for sharing this video in teams just click on this share button and uh, click on this teams and uh, here you have to type in the name whom you want to share this meeting with so i'm writing here demo student 2 so you can send it to anyone you want here and uh, click on this uh, arrow button here and it will be sent to this uh, demo student 2 after sending this uh, link here this demo student can click on this link and uh, he or she can able to watch this uh, recorded video so that is all for uh, how to record and uh, how to share recorded videos in microsoft stream and uh, teachers you can also look around this app and know about all the fun functionality of this application so it's pretty easy you can also add your own videos or create a new video here and share it it's just like uh, youtube so just uh, go through all the settings and you will know about uh, how to operate this application so coming to our next point uh, that is uh, how to avoid sharing your personal information while attending the online classes so for that uh, i have downloaded this onedrive application that is connected with my microsoft teams account but you can use uh, this drive google drive for that purpose so whatever option you like you can choose that so i am using onedrive because uh, this onedrive is connected with my microsoft teams account so first you have to download this uh, onedrive application from the play store for that just go to play store and uh, type in the onedrive so i'm write, writing here microsoft onedrive just after uh, installing it will this ask application you to sign in. just, similarly you have to sign in you have to sign in this uh, onedrive you have to sign in this onedrive application you can see after sign you have to sign in this um, onedrive application and after signing in or you can create a word document and create a powerpoint presentation directly in this one drive so there are so many tools that you can use here so i have added three uh, folders here so for example you want to show pictures to the students just click on this images and uh, click on that image here and you can easily show that uh, to the pic uh, students and similarly you can share this uh, file to teacher directly to the whatsapp or something like that
coming out of this uh, Microsoft Teams uh, application is very important. So if you are sharing your screen, you must come out of it uh, just by clicking this uh, home button on your mobile phone. So, so by doing that, you can share your screen. So on the screen, you can see we have one drive. So just open it up. And uh, as I have told you earlier in this video that we can create uh, different folders and you can create as many as folders you want in this one drive. So I have created images, PDFs and PPDs. So a PDF to my students, just click on this PDF folder and uh, click on this uh, file here and it will open up. And here you can see, you can easily move around this PDF and you can also zoom in and zoom out in this PDF. And similarly, teachers, you can share PPTs if you want to share PPTs with the students. So you can also create PPT directly in this uh, share PPTs if you want to share PPTs with the students. So you can also create PPT directly in this uh, OneDrive. Students are able to see it clearly. So it is uh, advisable you always share your screen. And similarly, you can share videos with your students. Just create a folder here and uh, you are able to share videos. But uh, the thing in the videos is that uh, your videos must be of very low resolution and of very small size because it is very difficult to share high resolution videos while we are sharing our screen. And uh, you can also share videos by using this Microsoft Stream just uh, you have to upload that particular video into this uh, microsoft stream here and after that you are able to play these videos while you are sharing your screen and one thing more that teachers can also use uh, their pearson or edunext uh, content through this uh, web browser just open the website uh, and uh, type in your particular content on that particular website like Pearson or edunext particular uh, recorded meeting to someone and we have also covered in this video that how you can make your mobile sh screen sharing more secure by just uploading everything mobile sh screen sharing more secure by just uploading everything on your OneDrive or Google Drive here so it is pretty easy so from here you can easily share every data you want to share and it is also uh, very helpful for you also because uh, you can know about different uh, types of files and directly you can share from this one drive here just click on the share button and uh, you can directly share these things uh, to uh, whatsapp groups just click on this more apps and uh, click on this whatsapp and you are able to share into the particular students uh, that we have created in the WhatsApps. So you can learn more about these uh, application um, by yourself. Just uh, go through all these settings and uh, it's pretty easy and you can easily understand all the functionality in these application. And thanks a lot for watching this video. And if you have any questions regarding this, uh, please uh, write this in the comment box. And thanks a lot. Namaste.